Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dragon's Dogma 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind first impression, uh, the mini let's play of the freshly released game. Last time we started as a mage and we had some, I would say, mixed experience of uh, the combat. Uh, a bit clunky is how I would describe it. But today we're continuing right where we left off in Tristan's Inn. So. For starters, I understood a little bit better. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Yes, let's do the vocation. So, the way that Dragon's Dogma works is you do have a couple of uh, base vocations. And I think there are up to six additional vocations. So you're starting with Fight, uh, Archer, Mage and Thief and then there are kind of mixed uh, versions with a little bit more advanced uh, classes so to speak and each vocation comes with a set of skills. Imagine it a little bit like Monster Hunter and uh, these skills com uh, consist out of weapon skills, which are kind of the weapon binding, so to speak, a couple of core skills, which you're always able to use, and then you get augments, and that is where the game's quote-unquote replayability comes from, because you're buying augments and they will exist across characters. So that's the theory behind it. Uh, with choosing mage, I potentially have chosen the worst character uh, type, um, at the very beginning because uh, the gameplay of a mage isn't particularly exciting only rivaled by that of an archer but uh, I intentionally also wanted to showcase how it uh, looks now that we do uh, meet the vocation guild we could theoretically change so could uh, acquire a fighter as uh, as a class and then just switch over to fighter and level mage uh, later that's entirely possible or alternatively I'll lay in the bed that I made myself and we're continuing to be a mage and we're just going to use our discipline points which uh, we get as a separate form of experience you get normal character experience and then discipline points and we're essentially using that in order to acquire a couple of um, things here so um, we could acquire focused bolt which is just a better version of our base magic missile and I think updating that is not wrong so let's just spend the hundred discipline and uh, we have a more condensed magical burst uh, than just whoosh whoosh whooshing little magic missiles and we got another 240 so we already have um, flagration which is an okay-ish skill, I would say, but we might want to think about something else. Um, so 11 would summon nasty, nasty lightning. That looks like something I would like to do. Then we got uh, Palladium, which summons a cluster of magical energy. Um, that blocks up to three targets, uh, th three strikes, so it's a defensive spell. That's not bad either. Um, and then we got Fire Boon, which is a weapon enhancement. Since we already got a nice little aggressive spell, it's now the question of do we want to give our uh, party fire weapons or do we want to have a defensive uh, spell? And I think we're going for the defensive spell. So, equip Palladium. Yes, and um, now that we do have uh, the option to equip skills, I think um, we're just going to put Palladium um, uh, I think we're putting it you know what, it's okay where it uh, currently is, might as well do that Fantastic. So, we could still, at a later stage, uh, change our vocation, and I will do that in this test playthrough, so that we're um, that we're having a Always fair a overview about the different classes. But for starters, um, let's just look at that. Oh, 
Cool. So this we've been. Is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. Shall we seek some answers? Good. I. We do have a lot of quests at the moment. Dragon's Wake is the main quest. Then we got a quest to deliver fruits, a merchant, no less than the sum of their wares, and uh, the young Flora um, needs to get a merchandise. And we do have uh, Enter Burnworth. Okay, fair enough. That is the main city. And we would need to inform Phil. Okay, where is that? Oh, that would be all the way back up there. Let me do that real quick and then uh, we're just fast forwarding. I want to see how a quest turn in looks like. All right, so we're currently on our way and I just want to showcase that uh, little site gig uh, we opened a passage down there essentially allowing us to get uh, up to this uh, hillside and the game also introduced us to the passage of time where some of the items such as apples over time uh, will uh, become a bit more <coughs> problematic they are drying up and they essentially at some point are uneditable so that I found interesting uh, the second topic which is interesting is you, you can combine items uh, just like the ones that I've shown here uh, this here for instance doesn't have a huge nutritional uh, nutrition value anymore um, and so a lot of uh, the stuff that we're finding over time will wither. Good. Other than that, since we've now had dried fruit, which I assume uh, will last a little bit longer, uh, we're not finding that much up here. I'm off to the camp again, which is over there. Just want to show you that beautiful night. All right, we made it uh, successfully. Shall we get some rest then? To camp. Got a couple of uh, combat encounters on the way, but uh, we got a thousand gold pieces for the quest and that we invested immediately in training. So, Aponza has returned from beyond the rift. And. Travel together for a day and night. Cool. Give the man a th uh, thumbs up. I return safe and sound, and I dare. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Come. We Very good. So with the quests, I still want to double check. Much to be getting on with. I I think I'm a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. No, I think we do have pawns, right? Yeah, we already got them. We're good. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings and if you'd like to change your vocation. So, let's uh, progress in our vocation. Mage is now rank 2, which is good. And we can acquire quite a bit additional stuff. Uh, quick spell. Um, where that is good. Let's acquire a quick spell. That is very good. We got an augment. Uh, that is the passive buff that I was talking about. Um, and in this case, we got apotropasm, uh, which we're getting magic defense from being an experienced mage. And of course, we want to equip that. There we go. And we only have one more weapon skill. 
uh, or one more weapon skill that we currently can do uh, can take because we have 150 discipline and that's about it but we have a few um, other boons here if we wanted to go with them lightning boon um, I think we're we're just uh, gonna go with uh, this here equip uh, 11 yes and where do we equip it i think we're going to equip it here fantastic cool um so not only do we have you know what i think 11 will be better than flick uh, flectation so we're taking that as the I'm standard and we're Dude. good here thank you now what I would want to do is still take a little bit of a shopping trip. We still got 4,000 uh, gold pieces, so time for us to buy something, even if it is base equipment. I think that a missionary rope might be the way to go. 700 gold pieces. Yep, equipping that. Uh, and we have a helmet. Of sorts, uh, we could either use the Beseecher Hood or the Wanderer's Hood. I think we're going with the Beseecher's Hood. Uh, got a couple of elemental resistances. Equip that as well. Cool. So, and now that we have that and that, we could get uh, Pilgrim's uh, Boots or the normal Explorer um, ones. I think we're going with Pilgrim's. And finally, we do have like base equipment and as a staff, we already have a wooden staff, so that really wouldn't improve any uh, thing. We could uh, purchase a couple of apples, but really that's not nothing that we need right now. And in terms of selling, Yeah, let's get rid of the old stuff. Uh, the stuff that we were wearing when we were a slave a only reminds us of the dark times I when so uh, we were there. And look at that. Uh, we look uh, all decked out. You have my Fantastic. Well oh, we can simply take that? I was used to Skyrim, where if you take that, things aren't uh, going to go your way. Good, and I think, given that we're level chest. 6, let's get Shall some new pawns. And we should be good. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish very well. May fortune... All right, Cindy, um, you've worked well for us. I think a level seven or eight pawn uh, would be good. Lots of level two. Here's a level five pawn. I think you are I shall be proud to serve good to go. Higher. And Tonya, you did uh, well for us, but you need to leave. And you get a little gift. How about a bee skin? Though our paths diverge here. It surely won't be long. Are you fit to can... travel? Yes, we are fit dawdle. to travel. We got a better archer, and now I need another rogue. Or another warrior. Double warrior uh, works as well. Yeah, given that we do not have a rogue, uh, I would say we're just taking. I'm a fighter by trade. Tyrant here. Send me to the vanguard, where I might. Take you, and we're dismissing Cindy. Put my we'll 
see each other again. In Please the dispense time. with the formalities. All right. Now, can we offer another? Can we offer our uh, main pawn? Well, I think he's still on offer. Anyways, cool. Next step that we would like to take is we are moving to the main city. So let me travel real quick and fast forward that uh, for you as we're moving on. And uh, once we're in the city, uh, we are resuming. Questions for you. Good. We are back and we're now moving towards First and foremost, the city. Will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Uh, well. I just need a Speak. minimum time because I think we still got uh, mm, got stuff from one merchant. So where we would want to go is there. Hell, if you've a moment to spare, I'd like a word. Sure, Leonard. As you can see, we're rebuilding. A task that can always benefit from another pair of hands. What say you? Would you be willing to help? Excellent. You're a good sort. I'm not soon. Here's what I need from you. A bask of Saurians has made their nest outside the village. Though they're yet to cause any harm, their proximity makes the villagers uneasy. Okay. I'd like to enlist your aid in driving them away. I've prepared some explosive casks and left them by the village entrance. Use them. Good. We're going to do Surely that, and we're going to do our little strength, quests from the true? beginning. But I've yet to meet a foe that explosive casks can't scatter. Right, you are. Good. And if Hello my again, memory sir? serves me well, see, have you brought some fruit robberant for me? All right, deliver it. We found that on the way, by the way. So this, I haven't much to offer in return. I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. He'll want to reward you proper like, I'll bet. My heart is light as a feather after that it's jammed. Good, we got a ring of exultion. Um, equipment. What does that do? Slightly boosts maximum health. Fair enough. Got it equipped. Just like our remaining stuff. Can always use that. And let's do the other quest. By the way, we've yet again leveled up in our uh, mage type. So, uh, just double checking something real quick. So, we could acquire Levitate. Oh, nice. That is good. Nice. You can levitate and can. Okay, that is excellent. If you look at our vocations, we're level 3 mage, right? So that's not too bad. In terms of weapon skills, we can acquire one more. The Fire Boon. Just helping our friends here. Or Frigger. Or Levitate. Uh, I think we're just going with uh, Fire Boon because we don't have that yet. And we want to equip it. So I think we're equipping it here. And uh, Palladium will be equipped there. And with that, and mm, you know what? Flagellation here. And Fireboon here. So we do have two buffs and two times uh, direct Pardon damage. Me. Did you need some? Always a pleasure. Fantastic. So I also we rebound the keys because keys. it uh, was simply unacceptable. And we got quick casting. Let me show you how that works. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, luckily we have not hit anyone. Let's try that again. Uh, I was about to say, let me show you how quick casting works. So we're buffing and then we're casting a little bit quicker. All of a sudden, everybody here should get a weapon buff.
Cool. How dare you! Many thanks for healing me, Arisen. Fantastic. Mage is beginning to be more fun. It's still very, very clunky, but it is what it is. Let's uh, help with the Sorens, and then we're off to the main city. Make haste, then. We must leave Anon very well. Speak. Okay, we need explosive crates. Um, like he said, nothing that he has ever seen does not react favorable to explosive crates. And um, here we go. Have me lead. Consider it done. All right. I hope I don't need to carry over five powder kegs here. A common reward. Frustratingly so. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Hmm. Where are the Saurians? Ah, over there. Fair enough. Finally. Time to carry the powder keg again. A full keg, um, a full barrel of powder. Oh, this guy must be um, must be having massive biceps in order to do that. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to The brine, tread carefully on the water's edge. The brine lurks in deep waters, rivers, lakes and the sea. It will instantly consume anyone uh, uh, who thinks to wait in their midst. If the fate befalls certain arisen, uh, they will be revived momentarily, but uh, they are the exception. Pawns will become forfeit and all other living creatures are met with an immediate watery death. Challenge. Try not to get hit. Let's do that bit and go to waste. Well done. Over so soon. Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. <laughs> Take <laughs> each trial as it comes. Our main porn unfortunately fell into the water. Well, that is sucks. Okay, well, that wasn't uh, bright either. Carry it all the way to here, Am just the first to, notice we've all got to, to explode ourselves. Patients? Well, our gotta revive, uh, revive our main pawn well. because apparently water is absolutely deadly in this game. Skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. And I think we have successfully driven these things away. Not to discuss. Oh, here we are. Well, that appears to have sent some of the beasts reeling, at least. To finish the job, I'd have you drop a jar of poison. With any luck, the Saurians will realize that they chose a perilous spot. But pray, take care not to drop it in the river. Villagers use that water on. You must make sure your aim is true. Are we good? You'll find the jars of poison just outside the village. Toss one into the Saurians' nest, and you're. A single jar of poison, or to send those Saurians packing. Only uh, uh, do be mindful not to make haste. Then we must leave enough very well. We're almost there, dude. Don't annoy me. Oh, maybe the idea was 
to actually throw it from here. Not sure, let's not risk it. My last uh, endeavor with the explosives went rather south quickly. Yeah, I think the idea originally was that you're just throwing explosives over there, but we instead took, uh, took it upon ourselves to kill them directly. that consider throwing all right throw ah here we go expertly thrown master I'd wager those saurians will think twice about nesting here again unfortunately we also it was a pleasure to recount such good tidings Good, at least we learned how to throw things. Good, we're done here. Let's get a new... Uh, let's resummon our uh, support and then we should be good. On the way to the main city. So where is the stone here? Perhaps is right there. Discoveries await us above. Main pawn. Long lost. I am returned to you. <laughs> okay, very good. I wonder um, status where is our status condition here we go take a small amount of damage uh, how do we cure that do we have items curious effect um, Drenched ability. This here is just hit point recovery. And this here is lantern oil. Okay, well, no, that's not what we need. I'm away looking for it. Good. I'm sure the that nasty condition will go away at some point, right? As a mage, we do have the option to also heal ourselves. So make haste, then. We must leave anon. Good. We're ready now. Let's go. Then let us be on our way. You've done as I had. I must say, you've a f watching you got. <laughs> or perhaps in any event. Thanks to the work you've done. All done, then. Good, we got the stoutness extract. I wonder what that means. Items, stoutness extract. Hmm. I'm sure we're going to find out uh, what that means. So let's, in the meantime, go. This is where we have been uh, during the night.
been up there. I couldn't really figure out what was up there. There seems to be kind of a secret. Uh, at least the companions were mentioning that we should move on. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermont. So it has always been. The and a couple of corpses were up there, but I've never really found them. Maybe we'll, we'll find it during the day. These many pretenders, and they are not dealt with lightly. Best hope you're not one of them. Regardless, you would do well not to invite my mistrust. Now that was not it. I was looking for this here. What is that? A tower? Nay, a statue. Yeah, we were up right up here. Oh, there's a chest. That might have been what they were talking about. One can see far to the distance from here. We are alone here, methinks. Perhaps we might stop a moment and find our bearings. Okay, careful, right careful. You are. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. This is rather thrilling. Okay, cool. So, we're healing. Let's open the chest. That was Ring of Cooling. What does a Ring of Cooling do? A ring that grants the power uh, reduces damage taken from fire attacks. Okay, well, we got more hit points, less fire damage. No one's coming to us. No! You're risen at the end. No way. Okay, cool. Let's get our shield going and then we're ready. So next question, how do we take a letter? Performance. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. Wake stone. Three shards Such combined from a wake stone. Wake stone fire. shard. What what exactly is a wake stone again? It's not an equipment, it's an item. Formed wake stones. It holds the power to restore the dead to life. Cool. Good. Clearly can't just walk through there. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive it. Okay. Well, it was definitely worth uh, checking out all of this here. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Oh yeah, from here you can effectively see see the treasure, and we found another one with a ring. Forged rift stones. Are these teleportation stones? I've a knack for combining materials that I hope you'll find useful. I'll craft all I can using what's in my pack. Oh, nice. Well, you're level 10, so and you're for free. The 
The time of our parting has come. Delighted Thank to you. meet you. <laughs> Specializations are skills that can only be acquired by pawns. They're not strictly beneficial, but allow the pawns to uh, act independently, and that results in, une uh, in unexpected consequences. However, a little patience, planning, and uh, do care specializations can prove very useful if you would like your pawn to learn specializations you would uh, do well befriending people with various traits um, a pawn can only acquire one specialization at a time and learning a new specialization will replace the old one so it's essentially their specialization class Okay, look, I'm happy with the outcome here. We got ourselves some new companions. I'll promise what I can, should it please you. And let's move on. The match is becoming better, slowly better, as the gameplay. It's still very stagnant and clunky, but uh, maybe that is a deliberate design decision. So, let's move on from here. Your ability to trip over nothing never... Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Very good. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? I'm not an imposter. Come, let us pass through the gate. Good. Healing up and let's go, baby. Still making our way to the main capital. One thing that I learned with most of the RPGs is make sure that you look left and right because there's stuff. Can have too many of these. What say we pelt one of the next foe we encounter? I would like to understand what all of those resources are good for. There must be a crafting system of sorts. An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Or may have befallen it. Best we press on. <laughs> Dried fruit, okay, cool. Let's continue. There, but there is so much loot here. I think we should maybe stock up on these items. Thousand gold pieces, that's a lot. A decent spot to make camp, assuming there are no monsters about. Surely a rest can wait till after we've examined our surroundings. 
Yeah, we don't want to uh, get to the water, but can we wait here? Camping. The Risen's camping here to hand. They can pitch uh, their tent uh, next to campfire. Okay. Camping also affords the opportunity to grill meat. For setting up uh, camp, uh, it's prudent uh, to... Sure. Let's use uh, the camping kit. And how can we cook? Oh yeah, we can. There we go. Wow. What say we get some rest? I'm not sure I could face a trek with my belly so full. Good sleep is the key to a good adventure. I like that idea. Oh, I see. Here we can basically take other skills and then rest till the morning. Okay, let's hope that the poisoning finally is gone with that. I trust we've all yes, it is. Our equipment. Off we go then. I hope you slept well. Good, that explains what the meat is for. And we got little bonuses. Let's just double check our status. Uh, we got a augment to strength, greater damage, and augment to defense. All thanks to our camp. Makes sense. Master, if you're prepared. What? An avalanche? Oh boy. Is everyone all right? More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. I'll wager I could make that shot. You cut quite the hunter's figure. I've a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Yeah, we don't need you at the moment, so thank you. Oh, there we go. I'll turn you into a Two goblins. Thing. That was it. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. Yeah, with our combat uh, prowess, there isn't much that I need to do. Okay, as long as you do a front line, mage is easy. If we mastered that attack, we would be invincible. I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Good, there might be something hidden here. Yep. A camp of bandits.
Gotta give it to the game, the action is good. Like, the actual fight scene's not bad at all. Not the biggest fan of auto-aim. But it appears that the quote-unquote skill here is finding time to cast in all of that trouble. Ah, a material. Useful things, these. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Oh, harpies. Very good. Well... I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! Find a way to some road ahead. Whilst everybody else was looting, I can see harpies over there. Arisen. Are you alright? Lightning is really good. Oh, more harpies back there. Fair enough. And more harpies there. All right. Here we go, baby. Guess who's critically vulnerable to lightning? And whilst the melees are <laughs> having a problem with the harpies. We are de facto just cruising. There still seems to be some sort of battle going on. A battle avoided is a battle won, I suppose. There we go. All right. I knew it. I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? Yes. Good, there I seems... Look. There are rare materials yonder, just waiting to be harvested. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? Tyrant here is leading us to a chest. Not sure which way. Look, dude, we already got that chest. We already got that chest. Good. Now that the harpy encounter is over, I assume that our entourage is oh well it's not really over there are still harpies Goblin's up there master. we need not shrink from danger we've the strength to prevail over anything oh, that's better many thanks
Oh, interesting. Good. Up here, there are chests. Healing potion. Fair enough. Good, we're all. Hang in there, master. I am coming to assist. There we go. Quest done. Soft neck wrap. What exactly is that? I'm sure it's an equipment of sorts. There we go. Uh, cool. So we're a real mage now. We got equipment. We got followers. We got spells. Uh, things are going well for us. And I think in the next episode, what we're going to explore is how the same thing would feel as a warrior. But before that next episode is happening, uh, we're definitely not going to take a rest here. We aren't that injured. We are instead continuing to push on. Okay, this sounds like something da dangerous. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, finally. Fine, a cyclops. To think we'd encounter one here of all places. A cyclops? Oh, Be on your guard. All right, let's. Pepper him with a couple of lightnings. That worked very well. Oh yeah, my lightning definitely deals a good amount of damage. We have given fire weapons to a couple of our companions. Oh, that's good. We must spare no effort against this foe. Alright, drop him here. Drop him, man. Reviving Tyrant. There we go. Okay, let's test out how this here works. So, that, and then we would be throwing it. You can grab... Yeah, that is fine. Not bad, the idea. I like it. Seem I misjudged you. That I is had true. I you for another false arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this. 
as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well. I, of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the Oxcart. Tis Fantastic. Got a missive to You're the captain. Of picking things up, aren't you? And we have slain our first big monster, Cyclops. Mm. Fantastic. I think that is a ah, great. Here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Yes. Very well. Board the ox cart and... That ladder looks promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. Now, what might that be? Let us ponder how best to proceed. Okay, let's sit down here. And we're giving it a go. Nice little ox card right. It reminds me of the beginnings of Skyrim. Good. And whilst this is going on, guys, I thank you for accompanying me in this ox ride of a second uh, session in this blind Disney playthrough. Um, Give me your feedback, what do you like about the game, I'd love to get your first impressions of it as well. Next time we're going to switch, I just want to get a little bit more impressions from the other classes. I think I got a sense and feel of how the mage generally plays. Stay in the back line, let others do the dirty job and as long as they survive you can deal a lot of damage, that is for sure. Um, so I, that, that's one way of playing the game. I think we need to get a little bit more in the thickest, uh, thick, uh, thick of uh, things by um, being a warrior ourselves. So next time I think I'll reskill to warrior. Then we have one more episode uh, with a ranger and then maybe one more episode with a thief. Just to get a good look and feel of the four archetypes, how they play. Um, and get the first three levels in for all of them. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, uh, try to Won't hit the like button with a few magic missiles. That'll be well worth it. And in the meantime, uh, take care. Bye-bye.